Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mutati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And as a result, like himself, this man, the master of English is talking, he's saying, it is out of that situation that in Samasama died. And listen to what he says. He's not even very intelligent in making his arguments. Listen to what he says further on. Administration. It is never a good idea for cadres to accompany party leaders when they're going to court. Have you heard him? He's saying it is not a good idea. It is not a good idea. And yet, he wants to absorb HH. <laughs> he wants to absorb HH from, from, from his own mistakes. He's recognizing that it is not a good idea to carry cadres. He himself is saying it, this man, eh? this master of English. ...of confusion. Everything he, he glosses over, offer solidarity. And this is the reason mm. in this new administration, mm. it is never a good idea for cadres to accompany party leaders when they're going to court. It is a mess. You've seen here in the recent past that this administration, the police, zero tolerance. And this is the way it should be. When a political leader has been summoned to court, it is unnecessary. It is futile. You see? It is worthless for him to be accompanied by cadres. Why? Because there will always be a conflict with police. To avoid that nonsense, to avoid the potential of that conflict. So you see, I mean, he's admitting, he's admitting, HH brought those people out. And as a result, at the end of the day, I mean, people died. How do you bring in Chilvatari? How do you bring in Chilvatari? How do you bring in Chilvatari? Where does Chilvatari come in? Hmm? And the case was not really my case. It wasn't really my case. My case, my case on HH at that time, actually, it was about a, a house. As I'm talking, there is a man who was deprived of a house. He paid for the house and HH grabbed that house. This man is real, he's alive. This man suffered. He slept in the cold. He's, he lost his property because HH took him out of his house in Cheston there. Again, the evidence is there. The evidence is there. These people are real. That man, that man, I'm not mentioning his name, but that man, the day that I will have power, I will make sure he gets back his house. I will make sure he gets back his house because HH has taken so much has taken as as take advantage of so many people, poor people. And these are real people. They are there. They are there. Now they can't talk. That man who HH grabbed the house from Ch in Cheston, HH just grabbed it. He just grabbed it. Because through, a, through his friend, okay, he was, his friend was the one that was liquidating these houses. He was selling these houses. And he gave a house to, to, to HH. Eh? A house which somebody had bought. And up to today, the man has been crying. He has been crying for that house. Nothing. And today, because HH is a, is a president, he's powerful. We can't do anything about it. And you want to say, no, there was nothing. There was nothing. They just wanted to remove you on the ballot. Never PF, but PF, they are the ones to blame. Because these things, they are real. But by PF, they were so scared of HH. 
because HH was using the human shield, whereby wherever HH appeared, he used to go with a lot of people. He used to go with a lot of people, and that's how they there used to be confusion. And at the end of the day, they were turning around and accusing PF to say PF they are very violent. Hey, Ed Gamungu is a dictator. No. HH was agitating the situation at the high court when they shot that guy in the butt. They were people, aggressive, they were throwing stones at high court. And that's how that guy was shot. Eh? So HH was, was really causing confusion. Wherever he went, he used to cause confusion with people. He used to com cause confusion, he used to carry a lot of people. It is real. The bottom line is that that story, not if my Simon Mwadela that, that now, hey, it is not true. Hey, whatever, whatever, there is nothing. They just wanted to remove him. No, it is real. It is real. A good example is Feruna. Why did HH kidnap Bena Feruna? Why? Why? Why did the, 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 their temples only appeared after HH became president? Those Ferunas. Even today, even as I'm talking, they agree with me in their hearts. And I'm sure they are praying that, please, Tayari become president so that you can give us back our land. And I'm telling you, you should be praying for me. Because for me, this is the justice that I'm going to give you. In my leadership, this is the justice that I'm going to give you. My time will come. It may not, take, it may not happen tomorrow, but it will come. For now, I am pushing those, you know, those that uh, have got capacity and whatever, whatever. That's what I'm doing. I'm pushing those that have got capacity. Let them be there, hoping that they will also turn around and help me. It is very simple. Why I don't aspire to say, no, I want to become president. I want to become president now. I don't have the resources. I don't have the resources. And um, I am pushing those that have resources and those that have got experience. Edgar Lunga especially, he has got more experience. And I look forward that Kunta and Shinawode will come and uh, look at me and help me. I'm still young. I still have got energy. And I'm sure my God will look after me. But the time that I will come, I will, for me, my presidency will be for the poor. That will be my leadership will be for the poor, justice for the poor. That's why Economic and Equity Party, we say, you know, the objective to restore human dignity. That is that is that is that is my, my statement. Eh? EEP is about restoring human dignity. All those that may have been taken advantage of. The poor people who have dignity, who want to come and restore human dignity at the right time. That issue is real. HH has taken advantage of the people, but now that he's president, we can't do anything. When we wanted to do something, PF Bale Mutina, Haka in the Bale Mutina, Ndemiwe Chinka, Bale Mutina, Haka in the Ichinema. How we no manga to Amuita, Shan Shan. And indeed, wherever HH was appearing, no, it's not going to be a ballot. It's not going to be on the ballot. Ah, look what is happening in the country. And these are some of the things that I'm going to be talking about on Sunday. Because the HH at that time, you can't just come and say, no, HH is a ballot. Ah, <laughs> but now, look what is happening. <laughs> anyway, so that is the story. It is real, Bane. And the HH is surviving because he's powerful. When he was in opposition, he had so many people around him. He's now president. But the real issue is that those issues are there and they are real. It is factual. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.